Hi, welcome back to Genuine Corner, guys. This is another video in the Java ISX Library Management System Development Tutorial Series. And in the last video, we did this. We completed the radio submission option with these three V boxes and this uh, inflating this with data. And uh, in this video, I'll be showing how to display a message when there is something wrong. I mean, uh, if I type B100, there is an entry in the database. If the if I press B101, there is no book that is B101 that is issued. So what I want to do is I want to show a message like this. So in this video, I am going to do this. I will show a message that there is no such book existing issue records. So let's do this. Uh, so for, uh, for this, I am using JFX dialog and uh, uh, the box blur in the background in order to make the user concentrate on this message and uh, regarding this white color i think this is a good idea if you guys think this is a bad idea you don't like it let me know that in the comments so i will change it for me this is okay and one more thing i gave this uh, one more reason for giving this white color is uh, in this back background black background this uh, will attract some user attention so since this is a dialogue that is exactly what we want so let's do it so coming back here, the main controller, this load book info 2 is the method that is called uh, when we enter, when we do an action in this text field. So when we press B100, this F case executes, right? Yes, if the result has something, if there is a result. And if there is no result like this, in this case, we have to show this message. So uh, it is nothing but an else part here. So if there is no result, then we will have to do that here. So let's do the else part. So in order to achieve this result, first we need a JFX dialog. So uh, in the JFX library, there is JFX dialog class. So we can just use this JFX dialog, dialog equals new JFX dialog. So we got the dialogue and I am going to use the second constructor. I made a video in the past about using JFX dialogue. So if you have some doubt using this, just go and watch it. So this root pane. So what, what this, uh, this root pane is nothing but this stack pane. Okay. So if I click on this stack pane, uh, it's not responding. Please wait. So if I press on this stack pane, you can see that the ID is root pane. So uh, I am going to give this as root pane. And here I want to give the data that has to be shown. So in this case, uh, this UI. So in order to construct this UI, you can uh, make JFX dialog pane. So JFX dialog layout, uh, dialog layout equals new JFX dialog layout. So we can create a JFX dialog layout. Then we have to set the text. So a dialog layout dot set and here you have action, body, heading, etc. So first I am going to set the content. So jfx dot set body. So here we can pass a body. So I what I want to do is I want to display a string, a simple string. So uh, I am going to use a text. So set body, new text and here I am going to set the text as I'm going to use no such book existing issue record. So I'm going to do that. No such book exist 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 in issue records. So that's okay. That part is okay. So we got the body. Then we need to set this button, right? We have to give a button like this. So okay, I will check. So that is a JFX button, and when we click on that, so we have to give an option. Uh, like an action listener and when we click on that we close the dialog. So I am going to create one button so JFX button. So above this I am going to create a JFX button. JFX button button equals new JFX button and I am going to give the string as uh, okay I will check simply just a user friendly message that's what I meant. So, okay, I will check if there. Then I want to add an action listener to the button so that I can close the dialog. So, button dot add at add event handler. Add event handler and the event type is not root. I need a mouse event. So, when the user clicks with mouse, I can 
close it so uh, mouse dot mouse click and here i can write the event handle so i'm just going to type mouse event event uh, em event and here uh, i am using lambda expression that's why now here i can close the dialog i mean when i press on the button i want to close the dialog so i am going to move this one right here then here i am closing the dialog so dialog dot close now <clears throat> i have this jfx dialog layout and uh, there is a problem with the what's the problem Di dialog layout so there was a one in between a a and n that's a problem so so far so good uh, I forgot a semicolon here, so that's an issue. Then here also, this JFX layout has to be on the top so that I can use that uh, dialog object inside here. So I am setting this as the content for this dialog. And I want to add this button inside that layout. So we have dialog layout, dialog layout dot set actions and here you can give one or more nodes and here i am going to give my button so button so that part is okay this button is attached to dialog layout and this dialog layout is attached to dfx dialog and uh, all that i have to do is i just want to give dialog dot show so now the dialog will be shown I haven't added this blur effect, I will show you that in a moment. Now let us just run our program. I have to close this because only one instance which is supported. Let me just run the program. So I am going to log in using my credential and coming back to review submission. Here I am going to press something like this and you can see that no such book exists in issue records. So this is happening, uh, this is in the center because we have a global uh, 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 we have a global styling for the text and uh, it is uh, working with this and this button is also styled so we have to give custom style for this button so <coughs> the problem now is uh, no text no such books so I am going to use a label here label and let us run the program you see root and here if i type something like that no such books is in our call so the problem is another one i instead of setting body i can use this as the header because there is i don't want to give more and uh, much information i just want to give no such book exists no there is no need of separate heading and content so let's try with that so coming to the review submission section i'm going to type something and press enter no such book existing issue record so uh, it is in bold color and that's fine and here okay I will check so here I like everything except this black color I mean the primary color I just want to change that to something like blue or something so I will do it and we have to add that blo box blur here so in order to get that blur effect I am going to create a box, a box blur object here so box blur box blur blur equals new box blur so i got a new blur and here you can give the width and uh, uh, height of blur just give 333 three, three. that is enough for our case if you increase this value the blur effect will increase that's all so i got the blur object and uh, i want to set this blur effect when i click on the uh, when i start this dialog so dialog dot show then i am going to set the uh uh, set the blur effect so in order to set the blur effect you need an object so i'm going to set this anchor pane as blur so it is the topmost container just below the stack pane root pane if i set blur effect to stack pane the blur effect will get affected into that uh, dialog also so i cannot do that instead i have this anchor pane and uh, its id is root anchor pane so i'm going to set root anchor pane dot set effect and here I am going to set the effect to blur. So, so far so good we call the blur effect. Now, there is one funny thing here. Uh, if I said remove this effect when I click on this button, anyway I have to remove the effect, right? So, if I set the root angle pane dot set effect to null, it will remove the blur effect when I close the dialog. Let us just run the program. Uh, you see root. 
and here in same the renew submission option i type something and we call the blur effect 33 then if i press on this ok i will check that the blur effect is gone but if you click somewhere outside then the dialog is closed but it is in still blur mode so we don't want that so instead of uh, setting the effect to not here i am going to uh, do one more listener so dialog has a set on close listener so set on dialog closed and here i am going to add a new event handler so new event handler uh i need a it will be better if you use lambda so lambda expression so that's okay then here i am going to paste it root paint dots effect so no matter how you close the dialog the effect will be gone the blur effect will be gone so it won't affect the further functionality of the software so that's fine i think so uh, something like that and i'm going to press here and it is the blur effect is gone because we are using separate listener so that part is okay now i just need to style this button that's all so coming back to dark tom dark uh, dark theme css i am going to add one more entry here so uh dialog styling so the background is white i need just one more button so i'm going to create a normal button and oh no no i don't want normal button i want dialog button so here i'm going to sub do something so fx background color so i'm going to say the background color fx background color and i'm going to set that to something like blue so i have uh, copied a color from uh, a color selector and uh, this fx blue is kind of a material with a blue color uh, blue 700 or something so fx blue is given as the background color then i need to set that fx border color also so fx border color and i am going to set that to same fx blue so that is okay then when i hover over the button dialog button hover i change that to our uh, something like uh, our fx primary color so the background color will be primary and the broader color will be primary now i have to take care of one more thing the text field the text color so fx text field and i am going to when it is blue i am going to give it as white and uh, when it is uh, uh hovering also the white color is okay so we have to do this fx text field in both hover and dialog button because the default button hover color will be different so we have to do this here and uh, it is not ready to run i'm sorry we have to add that class this dialog button class here instead of the uh, main controller so we have button here jfx button and all that i have to do is to attach that class to here so button don't get style class dot add our class so it is uh, i just need the dialog button and i am going to paste it right here dialog button now everything should be good let us run the program so geez, uh, there are two instances running again uh, so we can do that so i am just closing the current instance and running this new one so gc and root and here it inside renew submission option i am going to type something and there it is we got the beautiful button and when we hover over it we are getting good and okay i will check that's it so that's it guys that's how you uh, implement the jfx dialog and uh, in the upcoming videos i will do more refining of the ui as always thank you for watching this video like the video if you like it and subscribe for more cool videos